Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back to another video lure information thing! Glad to have you back. Today we're going to be talking about this specific lure, the Bubble Ripper. So this is a sinking popper meant for casting. If you want to know more about the specific construction of this lure, head over to my overview video found in the description below. This is just shy of being a 3 ounce lure, and that translates to about 83 grams. And remember, this has no hooks on it or any other hardware currently. So let's take a closer look at this. Starting in the front, you'll notice a mostly typical popper mouth. Just like the surface streamer, this is meant to cavitate a little as well as spray water and make a lot of noise and bubbles. Going around to the bottom and back, there are two hook points here for whatever you feel would best suit the fish you're going after. I would personally recommend a 4.0 to 7.0 treble hook or up to a 12.0 assist hook. My typical setup is a 4-0 treble hook with a 10-0 assist hook on the back or two 4-0 treble hooks. Remember, you will also need split rings to attach the hooks, which also means split ring pliers. Here's the cool part, these fins. There's a couple reasons for them. Firstly, because this is a sinking popper, they will help you bring the lure to the surface and have it stay there during the retrieve. Secondly, they help to create vortexes and bubble trails that help attract fish from far around. And lastly, and the coolest part in my opinion, is that they're there for straight retrieves and they actually scoop a little bit of air and throw it underneath so it makes these magnificent bubble trails that you can use for those really timid, annoying fish. Just straight retrieve it if popping doesn't work. Alright, time for some rigging tips. If you are comfortable with the lure, direct tying is totally fine, although I do almost always recommend a completely overkill and way too beefy swivel. It also never hurts to have some nice, thick monofilament line. Tie it with your favorite knot, crimp it, whatever you're accustomed to. This lure requires no weights, and I can't really think of a circumstance where you'd actually want to use them here. Alright, so now for the most important part of this video, what not to do with this lure. This lure is absolutely not designed for huge, long, powerful rips. This is for finessing very timid fish. This lure is for walking the dog. Small, frequent pops. You only just want to give it a little tug with your wrist and flick it out of the water, just a little bit. A powerful tug will absolutely pull it straight out of the water and have it go flying straight towards you, tumbling and getting caught in itself. You don't want that. I am in the process of designing a lure exactly for that, but this is not that, so if you want to do huge powerful rips, don't buy this lure, wait for that. So the goal is you want to retrieve this just fast enough to keep it on the surface of the water, which is pretty easy. With just a little bit of action from the tip of the rod, you can give yourself small, consistent pops and you can couple that with straight retrieving. It's pretty easy to get a feel for the speed that you should be going with this. So between the small pops and the straight retrieve, this is a pretty versatile lure that is exceptionally good for those very finicky fish. Combine those two techniques and you can have yourself one hell of a day of fishing. And I have to put this in every one of my videos. Remember, they are all epoxy, there is no paint to rub off, and they're extremely serviceable, very hard, very scratch resistant, very corrosion resistant, and of course, Beautiful. If I was a fish, I'd bite the hell out of this. I don't know about you. Well, thanks again for stopping in. If you do have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below. I hope you picked up some tips that were helpful to you. I will try to respond to any questions that don't look like YouTube bots. And most importantly, visit the website below, or, or this one, this website, right here, Pyros Lures, Pyros, Pyros, I don't care. That's where you can buy these. Have a nice day and love you.